Today I'm going to show you how to use the new image gallery component within the tabbed UI. So we're going to start out by creating an image gallery component. And in this case we'll look at our properties. We're going to want to display a Google map if there's EXIF information containing latitude and longitude. We're going to want to display descriptive information in the info panel. I'm going to go ahead and bind this. I've created a table that's a DBF table for demonstration purposes called images. I'm going to go ahead and auto map the fields. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this as IG1 or image gallery one. We're going to have, go ahead and take a look at live preview. So in this case we're using the default images directory and the images directory in my machine has about 120 images in it. Okay, so we've already saved that. That looks good. Now, what we want to do is now include this within a tab UI. So we're going to go ahead and create a new web component, tab UI builder. I'm going to drop in a component. I'm going to use the image gallery component. And in this case, uh, the button text, I'm going to have it say uh, all images. And we'll do the same and we'll just put images on the, on the pane title. And we're going to leave the, we're not going to bind the argument to anything because the default in the builder is images. I'm going to show you quickly what the uh, directory structure looks like here. So let's go to my uh, live preview. And what I'm going to work with today is this images directory, and I've got two different projects, this Goshen and Washington project. So this is where the images live, and here we have all the images. They're in this directory. They're all set up at 1K by 768, which will show very nicely on an iPad. Then there's a subdirectory called thumbs. This is what the image gallery component scans to pull in the thumbnails that allows you access to the images and these are sized at 75 by 75 pixels. So let's go ahead and, uh, and close that out. Now what I'm going to do is drop in a, another, so we have two other image galleries that we would like to have within this tabbed UI. I'm going to use the same component, in this case we'll say Washington Project photos. I'll go ahead and copy that and we'll use the same on the pane. But the difference now is we're going to go down to our argument bindings and in this case we're just going to statically bind this argument of image underbar dir. We'll set that value in this case to images underbar Washington underbar project. And we're going to insert another component. Again, the same image gallery component. This one we're going to call our Goshen project. Again, we're going to go down and we're going to bind to this argument the name of the directory containing those images. So what we've got now is we've got we've got three different instances of the image gallery component within the tabbed UI. So let's go ahead and look at that. Then we'll start out with all images. We'll start out with the Washington Project photos. And then we'll take a look at the Goshen project photos. So we've got all of our images in this gallery. The Washington project image is here, and we can bring up uh, some of the data associated with that. So here we have the data that was pulled from the DBF table, and we also have EXIF information that was pulled from the photo. There's no map, so we don't see a mapping button. Let's go back to these images and we'll look at the uh, Golden Gate Bridge which I shot with my iPhone so I know there's going to be some EXIF information. There'll be a map there. 
The reason these buttons are scrunched up because it's trying to fit in this very tight space that I've got set up for the builder here. Um, but that gives you a, a quick understanding of how you could use the image gallery component within the tabbed UI. Of course, the argument bindings could be bound to a data source uh, instead of being bound to a static um, value, which we've used. But this gives you a quick understanding of how you could use the image gallery component within the tabbed UI. Thanks.